Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on objective questions and answer on welding process. So this is part number two, which will be containing with most important 20 questions list. So let us start with our question number one. The melting point of filler metal in brazing should be above. Option A 420 degree centigrade. Option B 820 degree centigrade. Option C 1020 degree centigrade. And option D 1200 degree centigrade. So in case of the brazing operations where the metals are bonded together using a filler metal with a melting temperature greater than 450 but which will be lower than the melting temperature of the base metal. So as per the given temperature range in case of brazing, so that will be around 450. So as per the given options, it will be the right answer is 420 degree centigrade. The next question, in resistance welding, the electrode material is made of option A, carbon steel, option B, stainless steel, option C, copper, and option D high speed steel. So in case of the resistance welding process, so the working principle of this is to resistance of the flow of electrons. So for that more conductive materials has been selected and amongst all four materials the copper which will be having a highest conductivity and as per this the right answer is option C copper material. The next which type of electrode is used in submerged arc welding? Option A, bare rods. Option B, coated electrodes. Option C, core wires. And option D, copper electrode. So in case of the submerged arc welding process, basically bare wire rods is being used as a electrode materials. And during the submerged arc welding process, that will be continuously feeding for these wire electrodes during the metal joining processes. So the right answer is option A, bare rods or you can say bare wire electrode materials. The next seam welding is option A, arc welding, option B, multi-spot welding, option C, gas welding, option D, continuous welding. So seam welding that will be considering as a continuous welding process. So just you can see the basic working principle of seam welding process. So in that case it will be the two electrode wheels is being used as uh, electrode materials. So just you can see that will be the lower electrode wheels which will be fixed and that will be the upper electrode wheels which will be movable. And both the electrode wheels which will be connected with AC power supply. And both the electrode wheels which will be made with the copper materials and which will be also considering as a conductive materials. So as per the thickness of the sheet metals, it will be placed in between these two electrodes and after passing the AC power supply. So in between these two places, it will be the resistance of the flow of the current. So heat is being generating and after sufficient heat is being developed then application of the pressure and your joint it will be carried out. So here the both the plates that will be passing through the roller electrodes or you can say wheel electrodes. So it will be making a continuous spots. So it will be considering as a continuous joint. So seam welding is a continuous welding. So right answer is option D. The next, the following welding process use consumable electrodes. Option A, TIG. Option B, MIG. Option C, Thermit. Option D, Gas. So as per the TIG welding, it will be utilization as a non-consumable electrode. And in that case, tungsten is being used. For MIG welding, the consumable wire form of the electrode is being used. In Thermit, it will be considering as a fusion welding because there will be the no electrode is being used. So it will be utilization of the Thermit mixers. In that case, in gas welding with the help of flame and filler materials. So that would be also category of fusion welding process. So no electrode is being used. So the right answer is MIG welding process. The next, all welding processes require pressure along with heat. Option A, yes. Option B, no. Fusion doesn't require. Option C, can't be stated. 
and option D none of the listed. So basically in all welding processes what happens the involving only heat and no pressure are called the fusion welding processes. So the right answer is option B. The next Rails in the field are generally welded by using option A forge welding, option B electric arc welding, option C gas welding and option D thermite welding process. So basically the maintenance of the rail tracks that will be performing by thermite welding process so which will be quite similar to the casting process so you will make a cavity sections according to that rail and you will fill a molten form of the thermite mixers and that will be in the form of fusion and after solidifications and the secondary operations like grinding and cuttings it will be performing the joints so the right answer is thermite welding process the next in gas welding which of the following is generally used option a oxygen hydrogen option b oxygen acetylene option c oxygen hydrogen or oxygen acetylene and option d none of the mansions so basically oxygen hydrogen or you can say oxygen acetylenes both are generally used into industries so the right answer is option c the next among gas and electric arc welding which has the higher rate of the heating option a gas welding option b electric arc welding option c gas welding and electric arc welding have equal rate of heating and option d cannot be determined so as from the both the welding process in case of the gas welding that will be the temperature about 3200 degree centigrade while in case of arc welding the temperature around 40,000 degrees centigrade. So the right answer is in case of electric arc welding process that will be having a higher rate of heatings. The next filler materials is used in electric resistance welding. Option A yes, option B depends on the type of welding. No filler materials is being used, none of the listed. So basically in case of the any resistance welding process there will be the no filler materials is being used. So only the heat is being released from the resistance of the metallic parts to the current and pressure is being applying to performing the joints. So the right answer is option C. The next which of the following is an example of plastic welding option A gas welding option B arc welding option C forge welding and option D thermite welding. So basically the forge welding is an example of plastic welding because rest of the others as a gas welding, arc welding and thermic welding that are the category from fusion welding process. So the right answer is option C. The next question. Which of the following rays is not produced during the welding? Option A gamma rays, option B visible light rays, option C infrared rays, option D ultraviolet rays. So as from the practical concerns, the gamma rays are not produced during the welding process. So that will be the right answer is option A. The next, in which of the following processes heat is created by blacksmith? Option A, spot welding. Option B, projection welding. Option C, seam welding. And option D, forge welding. So basically spot welding, projections welding, seam weldings are the category of the resistance type of the welding so that will be following the principle like resistance of the flow of the electrons but in case of the forge welding heat is created by the blacksmith so the right answer is option d forge welding the next question the voltage needed in resistance welding does not depends upon option a composition option b length of weld option c area and option D thickness of weld. So basically in case of the resistance welding process the it depends mainly upon compositions area and the thickness of the weld but it will be not depends upon the land because it will be in the case of the seam welding it will be making a continuous joints. So it will be not depends upon the length of the weld. So right answer is option B. The next question which of the following types is not 
fill it with option a butt joint option b lap joint option c t joint and option d corner joints so as from the lap joint t joints and corner joints that will be category of the fillet with but what joint that will be not a fillet joint so the right answer is butt joint the next which of the following is a weld joints option a butt joint lap joint t joint and all of the above so as from the types of joints lap joint t joint corner joints that all are the category you can say the types of the joints that will be used into the welding process so as per this the right answer is option d all of the above the next which of the processes can be classified as a fusion welding option a arc welding and laser beam welding option b friction welding and laser beam welding option c friction welding and ultrasonic welding and option d ultrasonic welding and laser beam welding so basically arc welding and laser beam welding are the categories of fusion welding process so the right answer is option a the next question which fuel gas is used for cutting deep under water option a acetylene option b hydrogen option c lpg and option d methane so basically acetylene gas that will be used for cutting deep under a water so right answer is option a the next which gas cutting the nozzle should option a almost touch the work option b b 10 mm away from work option c b 2 mm away from work and option d b 5 mm away from work so as per the practical concerns in generally while gas cutting the nozzle should be around 2 mm away from the workpiece so the option c then last question the positions in which it is easiest to weld is option a flat positions option b vertical positions option c horizontal positions and option d overhead positions so as for the practical concerns or you can say that flat positions or you can say 1g positions which is easiest for the welding positions while overhead positions or you can say 4g positions which is having the highest difficulties levels so that will be the right answer is option a so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching